Go Ask Alice, the second and last book I will be reading today. Go Ask Alice is a journal of a 15-year-old who got hooked on drugs. It is very moving as somebody who sees drug addicts on at least a weekly basis, if not sometimes a daily basis. Uh, the downward spiral and just quick descent into hell and the missing time and everything like that. This is actually really makes a lot of sense to me. Um, you know, very tragic. Um, now, one thing I do have to tackle here in this is that although the initial story on Go Ask Alice was that this was a journal that was submitted by somebody, it seems there's a couple of other possibilities to the origin of this that makes this not quite fully nonfiction. And uh, that is that it seems that it might have been somebody at, at the publishing company who had worked with youths that were on drugs and made a composite character named Alice. And then finally, some people believe that the whole thing is just a story cooked up by an author, just, you know, um, complete fiction. I would more so lean towards the middle of that or even maybe lean towards the first that some people said the way it's written and structured is so well as a journal that this is that clearly this girl is a writing way beyond a 15 year old I don't get that at all you know there's definitely a lot of grammar mistakes a lot of run-on sentences that you don't get uh, you know as somebody who's done journals you know you're writing to yourself and there are just only a few passages what I would call out that seem to be artificial and I would just say it opens by saying it is edited. Uh, so take this for what it's worth. Still a great read and still, you know, a lighter piece for those of you who don't want to take on the bigger books about addiction.